The 21st century is a really dangerous century. Hey, hey, this is Matthew B. Lamont. Welcome to another trailer reaction video. And today, we're going to look at Rocco's Modern Life, Static Cling. Now, I love that show. And I like the character designs and the colors and the animation. And I heard it's going to get rebooted. So yeah, this whole 90s Nickelodeon was like the best moment to really put Nickelodeon on the map with its wacky new gross-out shows and I enjoyed the original Rocco's Modern Life. I had I laughed and at the same time I got grossed out by it and and I was a, and I was watching it with my my brother and my mother like uh 22 years ago. Uh my father was urging uh, us to change the channel and say no cuz it's the only good thing on waiting for a Charlie Brown Snoopy show. I don't like the way Sesame I didn't like the way Sesame Street was going back then cuz it's got all wacky and stuff. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to talk about now Rocco's Modern Life is going to make a comeback cuz uh, last year there was a Hey Arnold movie called Hey Arnold the Jungle Movie which just helped uh, answer our questions. And so now here's uh, Rocco's Modern Life. Static Cling. The original voice cast is going to make a comeback, I heard, so let's see how it's going to work. Alright. Here goes nothing. We're <laughs> 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 Drone Buzz Bucks, like Starbucks. Starbucks in every corner. <laughs> Check it out. I got the new old phone eight. Big wolf. Oh store. <laughs> oh watch. Oh no. Oh no. Radio Ew. Ew. Three D printer. This food truck sells pizza tacos. I got a wiener taco. I got a taco taco. It's not another taco. Wait, you'll get taco. I got a taco taco. It's not another taco. Wait, you'll get taco. <laughs> no more games. This time it's personal. <laughs> 3D movies. It's so realistic. You? <laughs> Reboot. Facebook. Candy Crush. <laughs> uh, the 21st century is a really dangerous century. It looks good, but uh, Joe Murray, the creator of the show, I think uh, this, this trailer came out uh, last year, and uh, Joe Murray, the creator of the show, is like working on a kid's show for PBS, and uh, a cartoon called Luna, I think. Uh, yeah, you'll see the picture when I'm talking, because I always put pictures as visual aids. Know what I'm talking about. And but going back to Rocco's Modern Life, uh, it was funny. I like how they made fun of things. And this cartoon was known for social commentary with satire. And 
it's just said there's one scene where they're they're like they're promoting this energy drink it's like radioactive and uh it's like making fun of the fact how some energy drinks could be poison to others and the taco stand I got a pizza taco, I got a wiener taco, I got a taco inside a taco, what did you get? Food poisoning! <laughs> it's like so messed up, so funny but true. That is true, people do get food poisoning from fast food joints. And also, there's like uh, one scene where Rocco's like running down this uh, hallway with all these characters one of them was Peaches. They're like whacking him with uh, uh, a sign with uh, thumbs down, like dislikes of social media. And uh, a laptop is biting his brain, which is making fun of the fact how we people are victims to the laptop and are addicted to our computer. And this monolith, which is a cell phone with Candy Crush playing. And we get to see the hand back and we see the Rocco falling into the ground with a sign that says reboot and once again has he succumbed to the 21st century horrors I mean ever since 9-11 in 2001 the economy gone bananas in 2008 and Trump in 2016 Rocco said the 21st century is a really dangerous century I mean it's not the 90s anymore and look 3D printers now it's all the rage and look, comic book stores and video stores, bookstores, they're have all gone down to the ways of disco and dinosaurs. And they've now we have to get our stuff online. What I like to do is go to the stores and physically buy the item. Test the item before I buy it. I mean, imagine if I go online and order my jeans with the right size, size 32, but instead they gave me a size 28 or a, or a size 40. That's not what I ordered. And I just want to eat your money and hence the mouse, the, the cursor, the arrow shaped cursor trying to take Rocco's wallet. It symbolizes how the internet wants to take our money. Very sad. Very funny but also sad at the same time. I mean this is social commentary. I like how there's like one Starbucks in every corner. Recently, I walked down the. I was at my mall, and there was a Starbucks next to Barnes and Noble. When I walked into Barnes and Noble and went further, further, further into the store, there was a Starbucks next to the music and the DVDs. A bigger Starbucks, and I was thinking, my gosh, Starbucks in every corner and 3D movies. Yeah, and superhero movies these days are like dark and gritty, and they're serious! And the O store is making fun of uh, the Apple store. The O nose, the uh, O phone, the O watch, iPhone, iPhone 10, and when there's like a new uh, iPhone, right? They all crowd up in line as if it was like a big event! And this big event, people are all like, Oh, I want to get my money in the lace and fashion, lace and fashion. I want to get an upgrade. Sure, get an upgrade. But you're going to lose some valuable stuff and some of the valuable functions you're familiar with are like no more or moved elsewhere or changed a lot and you have to relearn it. Which is pretty sad for me. And uh, Rocco symbolizes the individual who can't stand all these changes in the 21st century and misses the good old days. Hmm. You're speaking my language. And is this speaking your language? So, anyway, I was waiting for it. To, like, it's going to come out in 2018, June 2018, but never came out. Or it's going to come out this fall, but never came, and... Until one time this new cartoon called Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles came along and said, We already have characters where the people are animals, anthropomorphic animals. We don't need Rocco's modern life. Or maybe they saw the social commentary and the head of Nickelodeon feared it might cause some sort of rebellion of some sort. It might bring out a bad message. So... I like Rocco's Modern Life, but the show 
I it used to run on the splat, but now it's no longer on the splat. I, mean, I get reruns of Hey Arnold and Rugrats and Doug, but I love Rocco's Modern Life. Where is that show now? First, they kicked out Fren and Stimpy for being too gross, I understand, but Rocco's Modern Life? WTF, Nick. Where is... Where is it, huh? Huh? Where is it? Why do you take it off the air? Social commentary? Huh? 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 So, anyway... A social commentary, that's such a stupid reason to get off the air. So, I like the show, I can't wait for it to make a comeback. <sighs> so this is Matthew B. Lamont saying, Do you agree or disagree? What do you think of this new trailer? What do you think of the reboot? Do you think, uh... Rocco's Modern Life, uh, Static Kling got kicked out because of Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Do you think, um, oh, what was it again, uh, hold on, do you think, uh, Rocco's Modern Life got, uh, got cancelled because of Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Does Rocco speak your language about the horrors of the 21st century, the way things are going now? Do you agree that I got kicked off the air for social commentary? Don't forget to comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. So this is Matthew Bielmont saying, see ya!